The same technology used in movies is helping one creature who lost his tail. Reporter Amanda Mason met the alligator and spoke with the scientists about their research and their results. Mr. Stubbs lives at the Phoenix Herpetological Society, and I spoke with his doctor, Justin Georgi, the scientist behind the research to help this injured alligator regain mobility. Midwestern University says Mr. Stubbs was the first alligator ever to get a prosthetic tail. He received his first tail in 2013, and through 3D motion capture technology that is used in movies like Avatar, Justin Georgi was able to create a tail that fit. When you look at their tail, you see how large and muscular it is. It's a big part of their body. It's up to one-third of their body weight. And that's a lot of muscle, that's a lot of power. It's entirely the, it's the only organ they really use for powerful swimming in the water. A lot of people with these prosthetics think that we should spend the time using this effort for people, when in reality these animals need the care as well and it can help people in the future. For the last year and a half, Dr. George I and his students have been working on a tail that will last five years longer than any other tail they've designed. We've had to build a new very large tail for him because he's now almost a seven foot alligator with his prosthesis. He weighs over a hundred pounds. That's a large critter. That's an entirely different process that we needed to find to make this new prosthesis for him because it's so big. In the beginning, when Mr. Stubbs was small, they created a mold of an alligator's tail that was around the same size. But to do that on a much larger alligator would be too dangerous for the caretakers and the alligator. So they turned to technology. I've been here for about three years and I've seen him go through various tales and see them come up with different ways to help him. And it's really awesome to see him be able to grow and help this research that can eventually help people in the future as well. In fact, once we put that tail on him for the first time, he stood up and he walked and he walked in a straight line, which he couldn't even do before. In the next couple of months, Dr. George I hopes to have finished his research and have a new larger and longer lasting tail for Mr. Stubbs that is made out of less sticky material so it can slide along the floor like a real tail. In the Broadcast Center, Amanda Mason, Cronkite News.